Welcome to the weekly news on Nigeria TV. I am James Odedira. We begin this week's news with reports that some former vice chancellors and senior academics in the Nigerian university system have said that the deployment of a centralized payments platform for universities negates the principle of autonomy. In a communique released amid a lingering strike action of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, which has been on for over 200 days, the senior academics called on the government and ASU to find a common ground to settle the issues which led to the strike. The group, which has former Vice Chancellor of the University of Meduguri, Professor Jibril Aminu, a former VC of the University of Ibadan, Emeritus Professor Olufemi Bamiro, the former Pro Chancellor of the University of Calabar, Dr. Nkechi Unwagogo, and others as members, stated that centralization of salary payment and approval of establishment figures and academic staff recruitment from the Office of the Head of Service all negate the core principles on which university governance and administration are founded. They stated that ASU's outline ideological stand on the matter of non payment of tuition fees must be moderated to accommodate this possibility as long as government puts in place the framework to accommodate intelligent or the indigent students. A mild drama ensued at the Ladoke Akintola University of Technology Lautech recently when a graduate from the institution returned with his certificate and demanded a refund. According to him, he is suffering and the certificate has not yielded him any financial gain since he acquired them. <laughs> <laughs> we want to drop the certificate. This one a drama. <laughs> Police in Kwara State have been accused of allegedly dumping a student in front of his hostel after he became unconscious in their custody. Speaking from his hospital bed, the victim, who is an international student, said he was with two of his friends when some police officers accosted them and ordered them to enter their vehicle. He said the officers identified one of the students and asked him to go while he told him and his friend to enter their vehicle. He said the officers asked them for their phones, which they surrendered to the officers. He alleged that after searching their phones and not finding anything incriminating, the officers turned to his friend and asked him why he isn't into Yahoo Yahoo. The victim said he told his friend not to answer the question and this helped the officers who then allegedly started beating him. He said the officers took them to the station, collected their phones and then threw them into the cell. The young man said he fell unconscious inside the cell and that was when the officers brought him out and took him to his hostel where they dumped him. The caretaker of the hostel confirmed the incident and said the officers did not move as they saw him rushing the victim to the hospital. The spokesperson of the state police command SP or Kasumi Ajayi, while reacting to the allegations, said this allegation will be thoroughly investigated. It is unprofessional if it truly happened the way the story was painted. I can assure you guys, the needful will be done. DM me the name and address of the hostel and hospital, please. Security operatives of Kogi State Polytechnic Security have arrested a suspected drug dealer and court is identified as Friday Momo. Momo 26, an indigenous of Lokoja local government of Kogi State, was apprehended at 11.40 a.m. of Tuesday, September 6, 2022, with 66 wraps of weed suspected to be Indian herb, four containers of weed, assorted charm, scissors, 52,000 cash, and other hard drugs called ice. According to the Chief Security Officer of the Polytechnic, Mr. Emmanuel Onu, Momo, who is not a student of the institution, was intercepted while making his way to the main campus of the Polytechnic in Lokoja. Mr. Onu said the security unit was on alert based on the intelligence report that some students were organizing a picnic as one of the activities to mark the 2022 Students' Week. However, the report at the disposal of the management was that courtiers were regrouping to test the security might of the Polytechnic but limped in the board by the proactive personnel of the Polytechnic. Momo allegedly confessed to be a member of secret court group called Arobaga Confraternity. He has since been handed over to the security agents for further investigation. Director of Kogi State Polytechnic, Dr. Saliso Usman, who commended the effort of the security unit in Momo's apprehension, noted that the success was another milestone of the present management in eradicating courtism 
court-related activities and other social vices. Dr. Usman, however, warned all criminally-minded persons to steer clear of the campuses of the Polytechnic as the management will not take matters capable of breaking down of law and order on campus lightly. The 31-year-old suspect, Umar Shehu, has revealed that he gets 100,000 Naira for every 500 rounds of ammunition delivered to bandits. The suspect, who was paraded at police headquarters Mina, Niger State, said he supplied arms and ammunition to bandits in Madaki Forest, Katsina State and in Medaro Forest in Kaduna State, as well as to a terrorist in the Kwamba Maji area of Suleja, Niger State. She revealed he got the arms from one Abdumani in Taraba State who was killed in Kaduna earlier this year by a security squad. Speaking to newsmen, police spokesperson Abiodo Wasiu said that Shehu was arrested at Diko Junction in Gurara Council of Niger State after a tip-off. In entertainment gist, Nigerian rap artist Ice Prince Zamani, who was incarcerated after being accused for abducting and assaulting a police officer, has been granted bail. Ice Prince was released from the Nigerian Correctional Center in Ikoji, Lagos, according to his attorney Folari Damelda on Thursday, September 8. Magistrate T.F. Oyeni of Aja Magistrate Court 1 imposed the rapper's bail terms at 500,000 Naira with two shorties in the same amount. Due to the unavailability of the prosecution witnesses, his trial was suspended on Wednesday. Ice Prince attorney Folari remained silent throughout the proceedings at the court's most recent session. He called that Lagos police spokesperson SP Benjamin Onden revealed on his official Twitter account that Zamani was accused of assaulting a police officer. According to Onden, the former member of Chocolate City was pulled over by the police for driving without license plates and after consenting to go to the station, he allegedly abducted the officer. On the foreign scene, Queen Elizabeth II, the UK's longest serving monarch, died at Balmora, aged 96, after reigning for 70 years. Her family gathered at her Scottish estate after concerns grew about her health earlier on Thursday, September 8. The Queen came to the throne in 1952 and witness enormous social change. In a related development, King Charles III was proclaimed king on Saturday, September 10, 2022. King Charles took the oath and swore to serve the people, promised to follow his mother's inspiring example. Privy councillors, including Prince William and the Queen Consort Camilla, as well as former Prime Ministers David Cameron, Gordon Brown and Tony Blair gathered at St. James Palace in London on Saturday morning to proclaim King Charles the new sovereign. The centuries-old ceremony was aired for the first time in history. The ceremony, which dates back to Saxon times, was made available for the public to see for the first time in history. It was also the first time women were allowed to attend. And finally, from the world of sport, the federal government has said that the league management company NMC, which is the operator of the Nigerian Professional Football League NPFL, is illegal and not recognized. Permanent Secretary of the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development, Ismaila Abubakar, announced this in a statement on Friday, September 9, in Abuja. Abubakar, who said the decision is to be effected immediately, also explained that it was taken in view of the several unpleasant incidents regarding the management of the Football League, specifically the declaration of the National Football League NFL as an illegal body by a court. He added that the federal government also considered the status of the LMC and the NFL's successor in title being outside the purview of the statute of the Nigerian Football Federation NFF. And that was the weekly news from NigeriaWide TV. For more updates, please log on to our website at www.nigeriaWide.com and follow us on all our social media platforms at NigeriaWide. Thanks for listening. I am James. But dead you know. Music. The art of arranging sounds through the times of element of melody. Harmony, a mistake that gives you the best happiness that you never imagine. Log on to nigerwide.com. The wide range of music.